Hello and thanks again for joining me for another episode of Kenshi uh, with my Skeletons Only Freedom Seekers run. Uh, we are in Vanilla Kenshi and leaving off where we were starting off where we left off last time in the last episode uh, after picking up Burn from Burn's Tower up here. We uh, checked out most of these ruins, we didn't go in the ancient lab there. Um, we're not quite ready for that. Burn did lose a leg, and then we uh, hot footed it down here, swam down the river to the drowned ruins here, which is where we are now. And uh, we do have the the armor king in here. And I wasn't going to buy anything, but you know what? We, uh, we've bought all of the AI cores, uh, engineering, engineering tech and, uh, and ancient science books that can be bought. So I guess it doesn't really matter if what we spend our cats on from now. So maybe I will, maybe we'll get this, uh, Samurai armor now it doesn't give any head protection, but it does give pretty good protection everywhere else. It is very heavy, twenty kilos. Um, so I'm not sure. There's some people that know all the uh, all the stats on how much chance you've got of getting hit in the head. I don't really know. Um, but we'll give that a go. And I think all the rest is specialist. Uh, we may come back and see if he restocks. I don't know if he does or not. Um, but let's just uh, quickly unpause and pause again and check what our run speed is. 17. Yeah, these are high grade. How about we give them to burn? Burn can sell those. Now uh, we're still at 17. We can sell one of these. We've got plenty of them at home. Yeah, uh, you know what? I will sell that. So we are going to be making our own. We've got better bows. Um, let's see, 19, that's better. All right, Springs 21, Burns is 18, still 18. All right, that's fine. So these guys are going to head back home. Um, let me see. Now there is a skeleton down here and I have heard that you can, if you keep, if you follow these guys and repair them, I have heard that you can get them to join your crew. can be very, very time consuming though. You have to heal them a lot. Um, I have not tested that. We're not going to do it right now, though. Uh, we are going to get Burn home. And uh, I have uh, recruited in the past in uh, different playthroughs. I've recruited, uh, let me see, what are they? Uh, Dust Bandits. I've recruited. Um, Starving Bandits and Rebel Outlaws by just by healing them up. But uh, you do need to heal them multiple times. It's not guaranteed. It's not. I have done it a few times. But uh, I've never tried it on skeletons. But uh, we'll get we'll get burned back home. Yeah, we are going to come down south which is going to bring us out into Holy Nation territory 
And I think from there, we're just going to make a run from it. A run through here. And maybe we'll head down towards Black Desert City. So, see how we go. Hopefully we don't, uh, hopefully we don't cop too much in the way of, uh, holy nations on the way and yeah, these guys should be going together it's better so bring him out here so we'll get burn home Uh, I think we'll set up an armor smith back home. Uh, maybe. Let's see. Maybe we can get Sad Neil onto that right now. Uh, let me see. Yeah, we don't need to put an armor smith in a building. So I'm not going to. Uh, let me see. Or have we not finished? I don't think we've finished uh, researching it, to be honest. Let's have a look. Yeah, there was an update, and it has changed all the fonts. Uh, we'll put that up there, and hopefully that should be done by the time we get back. So I may need to go into settings and uh, muck around with font sizes. Let's get these guys through the Holy Nation territory safely. Watch out for patrols usually happening up around here. Let's get up onto the land. All right. Can we make it across here? Let's give it a go. Now, on our way with Springs and Old Rust, uh, on our way to World's End, before we picked up Burn, we did have Holy Nations guys chasing us, and they were running at 21, 20 or 21 miles an hour. Pretty fast. So, with Burn, we've got a top speed of 18. So we'll see how we go. Let's get into the acid rain. Should be pretty... Well, that'll keep us sort of half safe from any humans, but uh, we may have some iron spiders and broken skeletons to contend with. But uh, this, this rain is acid rain. doesn't affect skeletons or hivers. Don't see any trouble so far. We are sort of just on the outskirts, but uh, we're too close to these ruins. 
and we will come back and check out those ruins a bit later when uh, when we're a bit stronger. Uh, going to go searching for more recruits. I uh, did have a suggestion in the comments that uh, that uh, one of the most likeliest places to find skeleton recruits is in the swamp. So we'll we'll take a trek down there at some stage. Might not be in this episode, but uh, we will get there eventually. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that we want right here. Uh, actually, uh, what cash do we have left? Twenty-seven. Um, should we? Well, yeah, we probably should. While we're here, uh, burn. Let's see if there's any better legs in here for you, and if we can afford them. Uh, this guy. All right, so uh, we have a left leg. Yeah, uh, well, that one's got a. That's a right. Okay. So it's got a lot of hit points, but not much else. Stealth leg. There's a masterwork stealth leg. Is there a scout leg? As a specialist, 31 athletics is pretty good. I think we'll go uh, that masterworks right. Alright, if there's no masterwork, um, I mean we could go for the high hit points, but I'd rather get something that gives athletics, I'd rather have a masterwork stealth leg, or sorry, scout leg if I could. But it does look like the best I'm going to get is a specialist. Um, it is going to be better than what we've got. All right. We will keep that just in case. Oh, wait. No. Oh dear. Or do we go for the stealth? There's more more hit points. Uh it does have well it has more athletics than that. But instead of like a, a minus sixty percent stealth. What does the scout have? Yeah, see the scout knocked down a bit of stealth too. Um, I think athletics is more important. All right. We'll bite the bullet on that one. That'll be fine. That. Brings burn up to 22. And Russ is only 19 because he's carrying a bit of weight. All right, so from here, uh, let me see. From here, didn't 
take us too long to get back home across here. Uh, sometimes the scrap house has a leg or two. Probably could have checked in there, but I'm not going to worry about it now. We've, uh, we've spent our cash. We're not too far from home. So that was a pretty uneventful journey, but that's okay. All right, and old Russ has gone straight to his to his job. Uh, let me see. Burn. I'm going to set you up for now on this production line. Uh, springs, I mean, I suppose you can go do some of this for the time being. Um, all right, did we get that research done? All right, let's go to squads, let's bring these guys up. Okay. So we got that research done. Let's get this uh, let's get this weaponsmith up and running. So we'll plonk that down here. Uh, let's put in another weapons cabinet and. I'm going to put this one inside, but I'll put it right in the corner. Should be easy enough to access. And I think we're also going to put in our item furnace. And I think I'm just going to plonk that about there. Uh, let me see. Sad Neil, you can. I'm off of engineer. I think we've got old Rust should be on engineer. He is. Uh, nuts. All right. So let's have a look at our gear now. So nuts is fine. Uh, we could sell some of these bolts. Let's just. Put things along slowly while I'm sorting stuff out. Ah, uh, cogs. I'm going to take your bow off you. You want to come up here, please, cogs? He's gone to the stone processor because we're using building materials. But I think I'm going to put cogs on the uh on the weaponsmith so it's no point having a bow on him he'll just dump that in the uh in the weapons rack uh let me see burn you can pop that leg in there How about you swap that bag with cogs? Good 
because cogs will want a bigger one. Get weapons in it. Um, all right. Bolts. Okay, Sir Neil, you're fine. Springs. Uh, we should probably give you the prototype till you get your skill up a bit. Let's give you a fresh set of bolts. Pop that in there. Uh, we will give you one of these short cleavers that we got while this group was away. Okay, uh, burn. We'll give burn a crossbow. And one of these cleavers. So we've got another prototype. Do. So it's it's much easier getting their skill up if they have a really, really crappy bow. Uh, I suppose you can have one of those. The only reason I have uh, medical kits is just to heal. We have uh, usually have some some guys hanging around here that I think they all got taken in the last slave raid. But we usually have some smugglers hanging around here and they have been helping us out a lot in battle. And so I do like to heal them up. Uh, so let's have a look. Okay, old rust, how about shove that in there and I want to give you a crappier quality cleaver as well and well, we don't have any heavies We do have a couple of regulars, I think. So maybe, maybe you can use that for the time being. Uh, we'll put this ancient science in here. Now uh, we do have a couple of engineering research over in Flats Lagoon with oils that we need to pick up. Um, I don't really want to spend my AI cores until we find some more. Yeah, this just takes normal books. I think I'll go for the imprisonment. Corpse, dispose, corpse disposal costs nothing. Um, they all cost ancient science books. I haven't decided what I want to spend those on just yet. Hydroponics be handy. We could uh, grow cotton or hemp indoors. Uh, or drill two apparently does nothing. Um, and that would be really nice, but that's going to cost us both of our AI cores and two ancient science books. And we don't have any normal books. That's fine. Uh, okay. Back to our weapons. Let's give you that. All right. Let's uh, get this stuff built.
Uh, do we have anybody on engineering? Old Rust is on engineering. Why aren't you building? I'm going to build that. What do you mean? Takes iron plates. Uh... We'll get that up and running, and I'll get, uh, we we'll get cogs onto that. Uh, who have we got here? Uh, nothing to worry about. Okay, so that's done. Let's, uh, now. The... Staff has a better a better sell value than the club and the club is heavier. Now they both take the same amount of time and the same amount of materials. But I'm wondering, I might let's just uh we'll get one of each going and I just want to test out whether they give the same amount of resources back if we put them in the uh, in the recycler. And actually there are a bunch of stuff on the ground that were left there from the last uh, from the last slave run. So maybe we'll pick some of those up. Oh, we do have our smuggler friends returning. They do have a pretty good, uh, a pretty good track record of escaping. Although this scratch guy, haven't seen him around here before. Um. These guys typically hang around a fair bit. Uh, we did have quite a few of them hanging around and they all got taken off by the Blood Reavers. None of them can ever afford my stuff and it's not like I've got real expensive stuff like basic first aid kits and meat. Um, yeah. And none of them can ever afford it. So, all right, so we've got this running. All right, so old rust can pick up some of these stuffs that are hanging around. Sandals. They're always leaving sandals and boots everywhere, these slavers. All right, let's... Uh, pop these in here right so yeah I think the quality so 0.5 for an old refitted point five for a mid grade sandwich all right Uh, shackles. Uh, sandals won't give us nothing, but I'm just going to get rid of them. Clutter up my, my space. Um, 
Okay. Now, did I get cogs? Let's get cogs to work on this. Let's pop that. Oh, we'll pop it under his stone mine. We'll, we'll keep our keep our building materials full, which they are. So he should get right onto that. And uh, see what the rust and junk gives us. And then we'll see what the iron club gives us. We'll see which if there's a difference between what we get back for any of it. Um, let me see. Old rust. You know what? You can join this production line as well. While you're doing nothing. But uh, there is none to do. So this is waiting on a motor. It's currently being made. Alright. Let's uh, check in on oils. Standing around here doing nothing. There has been no action here. Though a bit further out, maybe. Seem pretty quiet out here. All right. Uh, let's have a look. So he's got his armor smithing up to 55. Just from being we've barely touched him, all he's done is auto forage around here. And basically just brings what he forages in here, cooks some meat on the fire, tans the, uh, the leather. We have tanned quite a bit. Um, Alright. So did we bring... Let me see. Did we bring old rust for a run over here or... Did we take oils back home for a run? I think we'll leave oils here. Because at least if anything does rock up, he'll... Uh, he will scavenge it. See who these guys are. All right. Uh, what do we need for that? Two iron plates. What do we need for that? One iron plate. So, this guy got three iron plates. One, two, three. So now, I'm not too fussed about cooking, but I just wanted to find out whether... See, I mean, he's just been cooking the meat on this uh, campfire here. And I wanted to see if it makes any difference. Because I don't know if he's actually been getting any experience. And it doesn't matter to skeletons, but just as a... Just as a little test. I'd like to sort of... I suppose we can sort of... Squeeze it in there, it's a bit dodgy. If we put it this way. I mean that works. I guess. Uh, let's confirm that. Dismantle that. Uh, we can put in... Uh, 
how about we pop that there and you can get building that um let's take him off of the campfire Are you building that? Can we build that, please? Alright, now they shot something. Okay, so is he in range? We'll have to send him out. He should uh, scavenge that. Alright, so. Uh, let's queue this up for dried meat. Let's uh, set this task there. Let's put that up here. Yeah, he is cooking it. Uh, let's just see. And his cooking level is going up. While he's tanning, beautiful. Couldn't ask for much more than that. Did hear more turrets going off down here though. Uh, so what was this? A wolf? And there are definitely more. Okay, there's land bats going on down here. Let's uh, let's send oils down here. Who is this guy? The ninja guard. Let's first aid him. All right, now he's gone to scavenging. So, could scavenge more. He still is, by the looks of it. Alright, so he's taken that inside. He's uh, dumping it in the stove. Alright. What we will do, uh, let's pop the skins in there, let's uh, take this leather out, and this leather, pop that in there, alright, so He's actually now getting cooking experience. So I don't think he got any from the campfire. He'd done a, a ton, a ton of meat. Um, however, he's spending more time on that. But uh, that's okay. I mean, there's, there's plenty of times when he is doing nothing, just waiting for, for more animals. But we pretty much just had him on autopilot. And it's worked out pretty good. Just need to check in on him now and then. Now, did we sell any of this? We had four in there. Yeah, I don't think anybody's buying that at all. Uh, let's check inventory. Alright, uh, we'll leave him to that. Let's get back over here. Let's have a quick look at what's going on here. Alright, so... Uh, Og Rust, are you in range of this?
So that's rusted junk. That's rusted junk. All right, we'll take all of these. So those bottom two are rusted junk. Let's have a look. Now, if we just dump this on the ground, they will pick it up when they need it. Uh, so let's just move this over here. All right, so that's 0.5. Ah, uh, they're all 0.5, so, all right, well, let's just drag that out, all right, so, we get the same amount from each one, Okay. The staff is worth more money wise than the club. So we'll just do staffs for now. But uh, I think we're just going to be recycling them just to uh, just to get his skills up. Uh, Weaponsmith already up to eleven. Uh, let's check bolts. Bolts is up to 66 crossbow smith. All right. So, uh, let's see. All right. So, I think old Russ needs to come down and visit oils. But, uh, do have, yeah, we've got some skins. We have a stack of skins that we can take down there and pick up the engineering research. But that is going to do it for this episode. So if you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like or a comment down below. If you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.